Hey guys, John Martini here from jokermartini.com. New tool here to show you. It is object IDs. Um, quickly, we can see that the list here displays uh, a color, object ID, how many times it's used, and the name of that ID if you want to give it one. Um, it updates in real time, so you can see if we add nodes here, the count will go up as well, and this whole list will repopulate. We have our basic tools down here. We can assign the selection a unique ID, so all the objects in the selection will all get the same ID. Uh, assign each node in the selection a unique ID. You can assign the selection a specific ID as well, or in this case, you can copy and paste. So if this object has ID, you know, we'll just give it an ID, um, we'll say two. We can copy, we'll see in the store here, we have two. Now we can paste that, and that one has two as well. And we can also see up here it's being used two times. And then lastly, we can create the V-Ray render elements with these IDs as well as the names, which I'll show you here in a little bit. Uh, so enable ID display will display the information based on the objects in the scene and this list. Now, this can be very useful when setting up IDs in large scenes. So I'll show you how I would set up this scene. So I have all my trees here. We'll go ahead and assign those a unique ID. Uh, we'll change the name to trees. Um, and if you want to, you can also double click these layers and that will select the objects based on that ID. Um, so in this case, we want to, we don't need the teapots, we'll delete them. Um, we'll select one of these and assign it a unique ID. Change the color, we'll make it yellow. And we'll change the name to small BBs. Um, and then what we can do is select all these other ones. And we can assign those selected nodes that same ID. Or we can use the copy and paste method. And there we go. We'll do the same thing for the large ones. Assign the ID. Change name to large BB. The plastic parts, we'll assign those a unique ID. Um, so plastic parts. We have our ground. So we'll name that, change name, ground. And you see you have various right click. So you can select node by ID or double click the layer. And I'll do the same thing. Um, assign the selected nodes, whatever ID you have selected in here. Change the color that displays in the viewport for that ID. And you can refresh the list. Uh, it dynamically updates based on any changes in the in max. So you shouldn't have to use that, but it's there if you need it. Um, so then lastly, we can toggle this back off, hit create render elements, open this up, and we can quickly see we have all of our IDs. Um, ground is set to ID 0, which it is. Go to plastic parts, ID 6, ID 6. And I only used a red channel, which is a lot easier when going into compositing like Nuke. Um, I'll have a gizmo coming out soon where you guys will be easily be able to select those IDs when compositing as well as combine them. And to show you the passes here, we have each channel, ground, trees, the small BBs, the large ones, and the plastic parts. And uh, if you guys have any ideas or things you'd like me to add to this tool, feel free to send me a message and let me know. Thanks.